Hello, this is Smith Double S M I Double D. How do you know that you're an artist? That's the main question. To know if you're an artist or not, you don't question breathing. If you will stop breathing, you will die. When you wake up and you have some kind of obsession to create, when you have this urge to create, then you're definitely an artist. But you're not a great artist, you're just an artist. To be an artist, it's like being really obsessed. It's like as if there wouldn't be anything else in your mind. If there would be any advice, then this advice will be a confirmation of what you already know. When I was really struggling, we never had any money, then William gave me an advice. Build a good name. Keep your name clean. Don't make compromises. Don't worry about making a bunch of money or being successful. Be concerned with doing good work and make the right choices and protect your work. And if you build a good name, eventually this name will be its own currency. The advice that I have is probably one that all the musicians and artists already know. Although some of them may have the ambition to be the next SSMIDD or whatever. Whatever it is, the number of those artists are very, very small. And often the artists who are very successful in that way, they create their own limitations. They don't have much flexibility. In achieving success, you lose a lot of your creative freedom. You have to keep doing the same things over and over again. And uh, the artist actually needs the ability to be creative. And when you produce and produce, then you will be in this kind of prison. So better try to be a little bit less successful, but keep your freedom instead. Actually, a video artist or whatever you do, nobody else can do what you're doing better than you. I think there is no kind of wisdom for anyone else to know even how to give an advice. So my advice to young artists would be to be very sensitive to where they are, at what times, at what part of the world. And that constitutes their artistic practice. I think the great artists have to be ready to not to be famous, to lose fame. Because when you have success in a certain way and the public somehow accepts you, and then you start to be reproducing the same images again and again, again and again, again and again. But the real artists, they always change their territories. They are doing things, they get somewhere where they've never been. And then when you do this, you can fail and you can risk. You can kind of lose this extra super quality of being the most important subject of the world. World. And then there is not so much specific things that I could quote now. I think it has to do with a specific interaction of a person giving the advice and the person who is being advised. You cannot speak in a general sense. Just do your best, do what you like and in the end it will be a self-portrait of your own. It's everything about you. Don't think you can escape yourself or your perception. Many things like that that I could say. And actually just hope that someone is be going to be needing these words that no one has ever said before. Sensibly, don't smoke and funny more. I had a very old professor. He was uh, giving me two advice. He said when you're drawing with your right hand then you become better and better and you're going to be virtuous so that you can even draw with closed eyes and then in this moment you have to change for the left and this is a very important advice because when you start to have a routine this will be the end of everything and the second advice he said you know in your lifetime you may have one good idea when you're a good artist and when you're a genius you have two so be careful with this don't think that somebody else in your heart can do better and do what nobody else can do except from you what i think the best advice is working with something that is very fierce very strong very robust and even though the whole world seems to say that artists are fragile, it's counterproductive, doesn't belong to the set of what they define as reality. Artists should have confidence in the fact that while making a drawing on a piece of paper, it is changing the world by definition. Making art is making the world. So it's unbelievably rewarding to be an artist. So to be a young artist and to see that having chosen in many perspectives strange decision to become an artist. It's also a decision to become part of the world. To be an artist 
actually to be a human being in these times it's all difficult you have to go through life hopefully trying to stay healthy to be as happy as they can and pursuing or doing what you want if what you want is to have children if what you want is to be a banker or you want to live in the woods or you want to save the environment or you want to become a selector of detective shows what matters is to be or to know and pursue that it's going to be hard because life is really difficult you're going to lose people who you love you're going to suffer heartbreak sometimes you'll be sick sometimes you will have a really bad toothache sometimes you're hungry but on the other hand you'll have the most beautiful experiences sometimes just the sky Sometimes, you know, a piece of work that you do or you find somebody to love or there is beautiful things in life. So when you're suffering, just, you know, it's part of the package. You look at it and then you throw it away. We have to die. So we know that. If you know this, then obviously, you know, you're going to be really happy and obviously also you're going to be fucked up too. So this was all not my words. And I just spread it out to the world because the power of quotation gives a certain pattern, a certain repetition. It's like rap music, it's like sampling of the word of others to make a certain idea clear or message. And by the way, this was Smith double S M I double D. Please click on the like link or we will see. You.